All right, so here are the, uh, I don't know, call them card oddities or uh, just, um, you know, interesting choices by the card companies or just things that uh, made me chuckle. So, um, you know, we'll go from left to right, uh, I, you know, what can you say? You know, as a, uh, you know, a 10, 12 year old child, you get a Dick Pole card, you laugh, you chuckle, that's all you can do. Um, for the life of me, until actually, you know, a few weeks ago when I was going through the cards, I couldn't understand, I, I never understood what the heck Larvel Blanks had on his bat. But naturally it was a, a catcher's arm in the way. I, I gotta believe they had a better picture of Larvel Blanks, uh, maybe that they could have used. Now, there's nothing odd about this other than just to call out that um, George Forster had the best sideburns ever and Dennis Eckersley, um, you know, what can you say about that hair? Fantastic. Um, Shooty Babbitt, one of my favorite players just because of that name. Uh, he was, you know, maybe in the league a couple of years, didn't have much of a career, but uh, I got a, my first Shooty Babbitt card. I was like, okay, he's in the top five of my, my most favorite players. And then I thought this was interesting, is the, uh, we come to the batting and pitching leaders from the Royals in 1984. Um, you know, Al McRae, 311, that's very respectable. Um, but was Larry Gura with a 4.90 ERA the, literally the pitching leader on the Royals back then? I'm going to, I actually, I'm going to go through the stats from the 1983 season because um, I need to understand if that was just a bad choice by Tops or if he literally was the pitching leader that year. I'll put the uh, details in the show notes just so you have uh, some context. I uh, hope you chuckled, got a little chuckle, good laugh out of some of these. I'll see you next time.